I know it's late, but I kind of just now decided what my New Year's resolution is going to be. And it's not really a resolution. It's more of a theme for the year. And that theme is fewer, better. Hi, welcome to Better with Phoebe. I'm Phoebe and I make videos about the tips, tricks, tools, and techniques I use to get a little bit better every day. I hope this video helps you get a little bit better too. If you're expecting this to be yet another YouTube video about minimalism, I totally understand, but rest assured, that is not what this is. I am not personally a fan of minimalism. It works for a lot of people. It's not something that I'm interested in. I like having things. I like having lots of things. But the thing that I realized in 2018 is that while I have a lot of things, they aren't necessarily the right things and that is where my theme came from quickly I want to talk about why a theme versus a resolution in my mind resolutions are very narrow very tight very finite things that you want to do I want to lose five pounds I want to cut out sugar and for me I didn't want to be that specific I want this philosophy of fewer but better to apply to my entire life, not even just my possessions, even my relationships and the way I spend my time. And a resolution, that would be a long list of resolutions. Quickly, I wanna go back to minimalism and be specific about why this isn't minimalism. For me, I describe minimalism as doing as much as possible with as little as possible. And I'm sure that other people will have other definitions and that's fine, but that's the way that I define it. Fewer, better is not about doing as much as possible with as little as possible, but having balance and having the right amount of the right things. This will probably make more sense when I talk about some examples from the key focus areas in my life where I'm trying to apply this philosophy of fewer better. The first one I'll talk about is possessions because that's sort of the easiest one to talk about and an area that desperately needs this theme is my kitchen. I am so fortunate to have a large kitchen. It is amazing to be able to have space to cook and I enjoy cooking in my kitchen but one thing that reduces my enjoyment of my kitchen and actually reduces how much I cook is how much stuff is in my kitchen. When I envision the experience of cooking in my kitchen when my kitchen is in its ideal state I have everything that I need, it is of good quality, I know how to use it, and I use it often. That's very different from minimalism. My cabinets and drawers are not packed to the brim. It doesn't look like an episode of Hoarders, but I know that I have an excess of items because I often feel overwhelmed, regretful, or feel like I don't have the thing that I actually need when I'm cooking. So I know I kind of went in on that example of my kitchen, but the truth is I want to apply that same sort of thinking to every room in my house, to my car, to my wardrobe, to my makeup collection, to all of my possessions. And I also want to apply it to my relationships. Obviously, relationships are not possessions, but it's interesting to imagine what life would be like if I applied this philosophy that comes from having too many and having low quality possessions to my relationships. I know a lot of people, I have a lot of friends, I have a lot of family members, but not all of those relationships contribute to my life in a way that feels positive. We only have so much time, money, energy, and emotion to devote to our relationships, and I wanna make sure that I'm sending those resources to the right places. I'm gonna make a dedicated video about this idea because I think reclaiming energy from relationships that aren't serving you is one of the most powerful things that you can do for yourself and your mental and emotional health. So if you want to be on the lookout for that, make sure to subscribe. Another focus area for me where I want to apply this philosophy of fewer but better is the way that I spend my time. Now I'm way ahead of the game here because I've spent the last two years focused on my productivity and I've gotten really good at claiming productive time and getting the most out of it. And that is what this entire channel is all about. But I have fun. I let loose. I recreate. But when I look back on how I spend that time, I'm not always happy with it. I absolutely believe that I can spend that recreational time doing things that are more enriching, getting out of the house, spending time in nature, learning things, connecting closer with my friends and family instead of Netflix. And the last focus area where I'm going to be applying my philosophy of fewer better is my money. Now I am not trying to have fewer monies, but I do believe that I can spend it better and store it better. And that is going to be a place where I'm putting some effort in 2019. I want to make sure that 
my things, possessions, and relationships are being invested in properly when it comes to money. But I also want to make sure that I have the right accounts for my money to hang out in. I've jumped jobs quite a bit. I'm kind of mid-career now, so I have a bunch of different 401k accounts and all checking accounts and savings accounts and investment accounts. And I think that I can really simplify and optimize the way that my money moves and the way that my money is invested. Now, obviously, I am not a financial advisor. I do not recommend that you take financial advice from me. I am going to be talking to a financial advisor to figure out how I can simplify and optimize, but that is a place where I think that I can make some improvements. I really believe that a life structured around less but better is going to be a life that is more enjoyable, that's simpler, that's less overwhelming, and has less regret. And that sounds like an awesome life. I want that life. If you want that life too, join the Better Crew by subscribing. We're all about getting more done and having more fun. If you're already on the Better Crew and don't want to miss an update, make sure to hit the notification bell so that you don't miss an update. You can also join my newsletter in the link in the description below. That's it. Thank you so much for spending some of your precious time with me today. I'm Phoebe. This is Better with Phoebe. I hope you have a great day and an even better tomorrow. Until next time.